Because I bowed and, back. And you bowed and back. And then again. I bowed back. And it's we're endless. Having, it's it was a bow an, back. Like an endless bowing competition. Hi, and welcome to Ninja Monkey. I'm Nathan, and today I have a special guest Yuka! Living in London, but from Japan. Today we're going to be talking about what manners. Manners. Mm, mm. Is that right? Manners. Yes, manners. What should you do? Should you bow? Should you shake hands? Oh, there's should you... so many manners. Yeah. Japanese people love to follow their manners, so please know these things. Japanese people love to follow manners. Yes. Follow rules. Mm -hmm. Should foreigners, when they are traveling in Japan, also follow follow rules and follow um, and have the same manners as Japanese people? What do you think? Case by case, it's best way to follow manners but not all the time. Like for example, wearing face mask in Japan. Yeah. First thing you will notice when you go to Japan now is that everyone wears face masks all the time, whether it's inside or outside. Mm. Don't forget that Japan is a, is, is a country that's been wearing face masks before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be staying. And um, don't think that, going, that um, things are going to change anytime soon. Yeah, it's well, good to have some face masks in your pocket, just in case mm. some, when you enter a shop, they might ask you to wear a face mask. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, if yeah. they ask you to, you should be wearing face masks. That would be a good manner for them. But also I think that you should most definitely be aware that you are a foreigner, that you do look different, you know, like you will stand out compared to the millions of Japanese people there. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if you break a rule, it's um, going to be much, you know, more evident because you look different. So you are sort of, in a way, representing, um, you know, other Westerners. So just be aware of that. It's a big pressure for you. <laughs> Most important thing is don't be anxious about, about what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, just play it by ear. When you get to Japan, look around. If you're on your own, don't wear a face mask if you don't want to. Wear a face mask if you do want to. And like what I used to do is if I was completely on my own, mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear a face mask, but I would be holding the face mask in my, in my hand. Yeah. And if somebody would be coming across the street and they were not wearing a face mask, then I wouldn't put on the face mask. But if somebody would be, was wearing a face mask, then I would put it yeah. on. Just to sort of like um, show a little bit of, of respect. Yeah, it's all about respecting others. So uh, Don't forget, um, viewers, that things are always changing. So always check, out, check you know, like um, local, you know, laws and, and guidelines, yeah. um, which you can always find on, like, for example, the Ministry of Health and Foreign Affairs. Website is always updated with the, with the latest um, like rules and regulations. Sure. So make sure that you check, check that it. out first. Before you go to Japan. What would you say is the number one rule that um, foreigners should follow when they travel to Japan? Uh, I hear a lot of stories about Japanese people complaining about foreigners talking too loud in the trains because we consider mm. that in public transportation, we should be more quiet and respect others. Mm. Because some people want to take a nap in trains. Mm. Yeah. It's very clear there are signs. Don't use your phone. Yeah. Don't, don't, you know, follow those rules. You can talk, but yeah. just don't talk I think there's a misconception. A lot of people think that you're not allowed to talk on the train. You can, you're you allowed. Know, I've seen foreigners before, like, <laughs> trying to yeah. communicate without talking. Especially at night, people mm. drink and mm. talk on the train. That's not good. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you want to talk about smoking? Smoking in Japan is very strict. Just be aware that things are very different in Japan. I'm not a smoker, she's not a smoker, not a smoker. but we can, we can, I can tell you that as a non-smoker um, that you are not allowed to walk and smoke in the streets of, of Japan yeah. and there are different areas for you to There's to a specific area. area in each station where you can smoke, yeah. yeah, you have to go there. Things are becoming very strict in Japan yeah. when it comes to smoking. And, and, and when it comes to smoking, would you say what are the rules for, for indoor smoking? Us? I've been to, to, to bars and cafeterias. Oh, the bars and nightclubs, mm. Mm, you that's can what I mean, smoke yeah. at the smoking table. Yeah, but not that everywhere. smoking table isn't really divided. It's not divided. There's no partition or anything. No, so it's, like... it's just a one table with cigarettes and then yeah. an ashtray. Yeah. That's it. So if you're a smoker and thinking to go to Japan, you 
you should ask every time you smoke if you are allowed to smoke here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about eating. Eating manner. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just had a ramen before yeah. and we were talking about slurping. Yeah. If you haven't watched my, my um, a Chicago video, the third video, I was told off by a ramen, well, by a soba noodle master who told me that I had to slurp. Yeah, you have to slurp. <laughs> you see, I've heard all sorts of conflicting like information when it comes to slurping because my Japanese friend, who's a chef, she says, you just eat it the way that you want to eat it. You don't, don't worry about that. Oh, well, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some chefs say yeah. slurping makes the noodle taste more better. Yeah. <laughs> That's why chef wants you to slurp. Mm. But personally, I don't see the difference. Yeah. I honestly think that as a foreigner, you have a, like a, a special like a foreigner card where basically you're allowed to make mistakes yeah. because you're a foreigner. Like, yeah. you know, so don't worry if you, if you don't do things the correct way. We do that, get impressed if I see a foreigner using chopstick in the how right was, way. How was my chopsticks? I didn't see. <laughs> that I didn't, means I didn't that I was it. doing a good job. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it. <laughs> Like, yeah. And drinking from the bowl, ramen is okay, right? It's okay. You can exactly. drink, drink up, drink, drink up, up drink, yeah. Drink from the bowl. So if you eat something, you have to raise your bowl and then eat it like that. There are some um, places that don't have cutlery, like um, European cutlery. Mm -hmm. So you, you will only have the option of, of chopsticks. Um, chopsticks. Practice chopsticks <laughs> before going to Japan. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Yeah. It will save you, for sure. <laughs> Tipping is something that oh, isn't, isn't done in Japan. No um, tipping in Japan. No tipping in Japan. So Basically, you don't need to tip in Japan. No, 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 no. No, no tipping, which no is great. No tipping. Some Japanese people say they get offended. Yeah, I don't think people get... I don't know, my understanding... I would be grateful if I get tipped. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Arigato. My understanding is that like Japanese people get more confused than anything they they, they, confused. they're like they're like wait a minute they've made a mistake they, mm -hmm. they've left money behind yeah. and they, they want to give it back to you because they think that you've made a mistake yeah you know so you could say keep the change maybe to taxi okay. drivers or something as yeah, a yeah, Study Japanese before traveling to Japan. Like, mm, I still think, not many yeah. Japanese people speak English. Definitely, it's it's really good for you to to like brush up on basic Japanese. You can correct me. Sumimasen. Excuse me. Where's the bathroom? Sumimasen. Eki wa doko deska? Where's the station? You know, like those are very very basic things. Um, then arigato gozaimasu, you know, um, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Kore wa nan desu That's a very important one. Yeah, kore wa nan desu What is this? Kore wa ikura desu ka? How much is this? How much is this? Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so those are all very basic things that you, that you should definitely know. Nowadays with Google Translate, mm. and also I think the fact that the, the Tokyo Olympics were, you know, they happened. Yeah, But it didn't happened. happen the way that no, no. <laughs> Japan wanted them to happen. But it meant that, um, especially in Tokyo, a lot of um, subway stations were updated with, with better signage in English. Yeah. Um, lots of restaurants have English menus. Oh, they, do they? Yeah, now okay. more, more than before. And with, with um, you know, Google Translate and, and everything, yeah. you can get by pretty easily. What about bowing? Bowing? Bowing. Uh, it will be impressed if foreigners do the bowing. Yeah. It, really showing that they respect Japanese culture yeah. but not too much if you bow too much yeah. we feel um, like we were like mimicked yeah. my first trip to Japan I was really jet lagged and I went to to the hotel you know bar mm -hmm. but it was like a very traditional like um, hotel okay. and the, like ryokan? yeah sort yeah. of yeah ryokan style like low, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the lady came and slid open the thing and brought, you know, and knelt down on the on the floor okay. to 
to give you the, yeah. the whatever, the beer or whatever, you know, and places it and bows, you know? Yeah. So it was my first time in Japan and I bowed. You bowed back. And she bowed back because I bowed back. <laughs> and you bowed and back And then again. I bowed back. And it's we were endless. Having, it's it was a bow like an endless bowing competition. We were both bowing. But it's common in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arigato, arigato, yeah, yeah, arigato, yeah, yeah, yeah. arigato, arigato. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like... When is it gonna end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like... But it's funny, yeah. but... And, and the thing is that each time I bowed, she was bowing lower. You know, like... That's true. <laughs> Best so. way is to watch and learn. Yeah, yeah. Or the best way is also to 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 make mistakes. Yeah. Because um, you know, now I have this story. That's how I learned. You know, uh, uh, the, my first bowing right experience, yeah. really. You know. But it's not a mistake, though. We we mm. Japanese do that too. Yeah. <laughs> bowing is good. You should always bow. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Drinking alcohol outdoors. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine. It's fine. Yeah. You can buy alcohol in konbini. Mm. Konbini wa wakaru kana? Or konbini and drink outside. You can. Yeah, here, like being drunk in public um, can sometimes be mm. seen as like really, really bad. Really? Yeah. But in Japan, I don't think, you know, that, that it has the same sort of image. Well. I think it's because it's safer to get drunk in Japan. Like when you walk in Shibuya 5 a.m. in the morning, you see so many drunk yeah, yeah. people sleeping in the street yeah. with their iPhone and wallet and yeah, they yeah. don't get st stolen. Yeah, but that's what I mean. They're, they're drunk and they're there and they, they're not hiding. Even a girl is sleeping in the street and they yeah. don't get... Yeah. That's how safe it is yeah. in Japan, so I think it's easy to drink outside too. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming Thank onto my channel. Much. It's been a pleasure and don't forget to check out her channel. Yay. Subscribe. I will um, leave all the details in the video description and I'll probably put some kind of like, you know, bubble link thingy at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. End screen with her channel. And we'll want... have another collaboration video in my channel. Too, yeah. So please watch that video too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it going to be about? Cultural differences. Cultural differences. <laughs> there we go. I forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, cultural differences. Check it out. Say hello in her channel. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato. Stay positive. But COVID negative. COVID negative. <laughs> Hi, this is Ninja Monkey from the future, from my home here in Gibraltar, and I wanted to introduce myself for those of you who might be new to the channel. I make Japan related content and my aim is to help you enter the country and have a great time by giving you tips and hopefully showing you some places that you might not have thought of traveling to. So if you are new and you do like my content, please subscribe. I actually film so much more with Yuka that I wasn't able to put in this video, but I'll be making it all available to my patrons, which is a great way to support the channel financially. I'll leave all the information in the description and somewhere down there probably. And if you haven't checked out Yuka's channel, please do so, say that I sent you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Like I always say, stay positive, but COVID negative. Bye. <laughs>